Some 1,200 fishermen who live in Tamil Nadu in the south of India describe themselves as slaves. They were all in debt to moneylenders, a debt most had inherited from their fathers. <laughs> Bharati says the moneylenders worked with the local traders to deliberately set the price of fish far below market value. He was prevented from trading with anyone else or paying off his loan after a bumper catch, keeping him forever in debt. Then everything changed when Bharati's neighbor, Murugayan Manivanan, heard that fishermen in a nearby village had formed a fish marketing society, which allowed them to collectively pay off their debts. He went to see how it worked, and when he returned, he convinced Bharati and 90 others to join him. Now, they finally had some bargaining power and convinced the village leaders to help them market their fish to the highest bidder. When this happened, the corrupt merchants disappeared. The next step was to clear all debts with the moneylenders. To do this, they found support from a local project initially set up to help fishermen recover from the tsunami. The project, supported by the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, was able to provide lump sum payments to clear fishermen's debts. But fishermen must pay back the money to the societies. So everyday auctioneers are appointed to sell off the fish to the highest bidder. Today, Bharati had a bumper catch and he's happy with the price fetched at the auction.